Well, that leads me to ask you, are you satisfied with NATO's response thus far and that of the European Union and, you, and the United States, which so far um, it is primarily sanctions, asset freezes, and uh, travel bans. There are threats that there will be more sanctions if you know Russia acts more aggressively, attacks uh, militarily Eastern Ukraine. But is uh, is that enough? Is it strong enough? The response? Well, the situation is developing with every minute. We're talking just now. We don't know what will happen in an hour or two. As to the present situation, uh, the discussions in NATO among the allies were one of 28. Yes, we're happy with the discussions. NATO is taking it very seriously. And I think that the very specific acts undertaken by NATO, including stopping military to military cooperation with Russia and others, are very specific acts. NATO understands how serious it is and reacts appropriately. As to the EU and the United States, yesterday we had the meeting of uh, EU foreign ministers, uh, Foreign Affairs Council. Again, uh, EU takes very seriously what's happening in Ukraine. And we have introduced visa bans, we have introduced other sanctions, preventive measures, and we are in the discussion of looking what to do next if Russia doesn't stop the, uh, the provocations, if Russia doesn't stop putting Ukraine under huge pressure mm -hmm. with having forces on the Ukrainian border, with having provocators in the country, with doing whatever they can to destabilize the situation in Ukraine. As some have criticized EU because, you know, EU is indeed very dependent on gas from Russia, particularly Germany is a bit uh, reluctant to impose more stringent sanctions. Uh, how do you see the EU reaction and are you confident that they will step up if need be? Again, EU is us, which means that when we discuss all the further actions, we are on the same side. It's not easy to agree always because, it, again, it's a body of 28 countries, they all have their different interests, they all have their trade interests and so on. But our feeling is that the EU understands how serious the situation is. And EU is ready to take concrete actions, even if it's at the cost or the economic benefit of the, of the countries. Yes, you're very right. Europe is dependent on Russian, on, on Russian energy resources. But at the same time, we have to say that 40% of Russia's budget comes from the same, from the, uh, from the transactions they have with European countries. Are we ready to go so far to put embargoes on, on uh, gas and, and oil uh, trades? It has to be discussed, but I can say that today Europe has resources to do that. And different countries are uh, discussing it internally within the EU. So I think that if we have to do that, we'll be able to do that. Although it will have costs and we have to be ready to pay the costs.